Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Messages from Spirit. I'm your host, Bob Eubanks. No, I'm not. My name is, uh, it's not important, right? <laughs> so, I figured I'd get on here uh, the day before Thanksgiving, and uh, I might as well, right? I'm not going to get on tomorrow, so... And I figured, you know, there's a common theme going on in the uh, group collective. We're getting closer to winter, so it's time for people, usually people, to rest and spend more time with family. At the same time, it's often a time to work on personal projects or self-development, especially because you're indoors more. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's holiday weekend. It's Thanksgiving. So, and after Thanksgiving, it's only a few weeks to Christmas. So, in between, you know, all the other things that are people doing, um, uh, so, here is a little uh, theme that's going on in the collective, and I, I hear this in multiple avenues, is that, uh, you know, when you're working on yourself, working on your own projects, uh, a lot of times people try to pull you into their projects. Now, this isn't bad, but, you know, a lot of times when we, when we get together, and this is something that I've tried to instill on my friends and family as much as possible, if, if I get together with you, it's because it's on, we're on our time off, man, right? I mean, we're away from our creative projects, and we just want to spend time together. I really don't want to, like, you know, help you fix your kitchen or, you know. I mean, I used to do that a lot, but then it just pulls you away from time, and then you kind of take a break after that, and it just pulls you away from your own stuff. And, you know, if you want to set your own goals and make sure you're moving forward with all your own stuff... If you get pulled in other people's projects, you're never going to be self-sufficient, right? You're never going to be able to stand on your own two feet. <clears throat> um, and usually, you know, the the person that's pulling you is, is not able to. So, you know, they're dependent on some other system. So in order to gain your own dependence, believe me, it is a long and um, journey of self-discovery and learning it, what it is that you have to offer other people and, uh, you know, in your own creations. So, yeah, you know, pretty simple message. Oh, I got a free pie yesterday. I was, <laughs> I just went to go meet somebody and go have a, go spend some time with them because I hadn't seen him in a while. And uh, all of a sudden, somebody stopped by and... A Cintas sales rep who was just delivering pies from Costco to potential clients and uh, gave us free pie. Free $20 pie. It's pretty hard to beat that, right? So, uh, yeah. And I also posted, you know, for you guys over in Uganda and, you know, all of these other people. Yeah, I really appreciate people that, you know, have, you know, taken the time or taken care of kids who, you know, never had or abandoned children or or foster or, um you know kids that never had parents or you know i mean th that is some of the most uh gracious work and hardest work because you have to for one thing the most difficult thing is helping children understand how much self-worth they have right it's just saying it's okay that you were in this position. And it, uh, a lot of times it's uh, when you go through very dark, dark places, it allows you to grow in ways where it makes you way more powerful than people that grew up in situations that were easy, right? I have to, I gotta say, you know, I mean, I grew up in a fairly stable home. My parents fought all the time, you know, they were always fighting, so there was some trauma there for sure. And I just, you know, it makes you stop and reflect and then observe what's going on here. Like, why is this happening, right? And then you start to understand it's just all from early childhood trauma stuff. And it's just carried, projected energies from generations, right? And it actually impacts your, your structure, the structure of your body. Your DNA is actually structured to move energy and information a certain way. If you're watching my channel, you probably already know this. But um, you'll actually change your DNA in, in this lifetime if you can learn to get out of those uh, family traits. And you do it by figuring out what it is you do to, in order to stand on your own two feet. Because every childhood trauma 
will end up in feeling like you need to pull energy in some direction, right? Because you didn't get the support to be self-sufficient from a very early age. And that you, you weren't taught to, you know, say, hey, what value do you have? What, what is it that you have to offer, right? You need to find yourself. Um, that is way more important than going to school, right? Going to school teaches you to kind of pulls you into a system that feeds on you, to be perfectly honest. I mean, you know, I don't know how many of you out there are doctors or attorneys, but, you know, both of those professions, if you look at it from a whole, are pretty toxic and destructive, self-destructive. I mean, anybody going to a courtroom is feeling victimized generally, and that's not, not always the case, but... You know, a lot of times you're just trying to stand on your own two feet and trying to cut energies off from siphoning you. And then there's a need to go to court for that, right? But on the flip side, there's a lot of people that just want to attack each other, right? And so that whole system can be pretty self-destructive. Um, same thing with the medical field, right? You've got so many... Uh, pharmaceutical interests that are their interest is to make sure that you are sick you know it might be some hard for some of you guys to really wrap your head around but it is it's in their best financial interest to make sure you're sick so if you're making creations that rely on people's dependence on you you need to think about it you don't want to make build anything where people are relied on you something to educate them and empower them and um or of just entertainment quality or to enhance their everyday life you know building a new type of car where that you know that doesn't take gas anything right so let's get a message for thanksgiving i'm i'm done talking about that stuff <laughs> What do we got? Right. What do we got? I don't know. What am I trying to say? Oh, is that what I want? Man, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Use the other hand. I like this one. This is the one. Unconditional love. Couldn't be a better card, right? Unconditional love. So, and this is the perfect time, you know, all year to do that. Because this is when you get family together that a lot of times are a little bit conflicted, right? You get people that are in various states. And, you know, managing your energy and the way that you view other people. Make sure that when you're, when you do say, that, hey, I need time for myself, you know, it's no offense to you. I love you, right? Make sure that, you know, the way you present yourself and the way you're saying, hey, look, I just, I need to take care of myself first. And then, you know, we can hang together. Unconditional love. Unconditional love is a broad topic, but unconditional love doesn't mean that you have to do everything for everybody unconditionally. That is not what that means. Because you're not loving that person if you do that. So discernment and take care of yourself and uh, just do what you feel led to do. And you'll learn more about yourself and that way than pot, you know, anything's possible, right? Your dreams, you can make your dreams come true. Nobody's going to make your dreams come true for you. You've got to do that. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great Thanksgiving and we'll catch up this weekend.